Thank you. Now, at least a dozen cruise ships land at the Port of Baltimore every year, a few of which are due back in the port in just a few coming days. Yeah, Fox 43's Marshall Keeley's here now with uh, where those ships are headed and how travel could be impacted following that collapse. Yeah, we're not quite sure yet. While we want to be clear that the immediate rescue and recovery efforts are most important, today's incident could create some problems for those cruise ships heading home from tropical destinations. Vessels are not allowed in or out of the Port of Baltimore right now. Twelve different cruise ships will land at the port this year with 115 trips scheduled. More than 378,000 passengers are expected to board cruises at the port in 2024. Right now, two ships are due back in Baltimore in the coming days and weeks. Carnival's legend left Baltimore for the Bahamas on Sunday and is expected back at the Port of Baltimore on March 31st, this coming Sunday. Meanwhile, Royal Caribbean's Vision of the Seas departed March 23rd for the Virgin Islands and Barbados. It's not expected back until April 4th. The Cruise Lines International Association released this statement to Fox 43, saying in part, We join everyone in extending our thanks and appreciation to the first responders and emergency workers in Baltimore, the U.S. Coast Guard, and other professionals who are working with one goal in mind, to save lives. We are closely following this situation. Right now, the most important thing to do is to allow the emergency workers to do their work. Now, Carnival Cruise Line says its thoughts are with those affected by the incident, but adds it's too early to comment on the impacts to current or future cruises. We'll keep you updated on any developments as the ships return to the U.S. And obviously, Marshall, it's a very important port, so it's not just cruise ships that are worried about what's going to unfold. Right, Evan. I mean, coming up at 5, we've got a breakdown of the impact of the flow of cargo and the industries that could face setbacks because of this. All right, we'll see you at 5 o'clock. Thank you so much, Marshall.